Anakin Skywalker is finally back, and there are a lot of theories circling about what is actually going on. If you haven't heard by now, which if you haven't, I'm so surprised, because Anakin Skywalker finally made his appearance in Episode 4 of Ahsoka at the very end, when Ahsoka seemingly dies, but it looks like she's actually in the world between worlds. There are quite a few theories going around. I think there's really three that I want to talk about. Then I'm going to present my own theory about what's actually happening with Anakin in this scene. The first theory is that Anakin actually took the place of the father from the Mortis arc, if you all remember from the Clone Wars. This theory is that basically what happened after Anakin died, his Force Ghost and his essence kind of took the place of the father because Anakin was one of the only ones to ever dominate the dark and the light side of the Force. They're also saying that this theory could explain why he wasn't present in the sequel trilogies. It also kind of makes sense just a little bit because Ahsoka is kind of the embodiment of the light side of the Force at this point, especially after the Mortis arc. The next theory is that this is simply Anakin's Force ghost and he pulled her into the world between worlds as she was falling to her death. One thing Disney's shown us in their canon is that Force ghosts can actually interact with the real world. They showed us this through Yoda striking a tree with lightning and we also seen Luke catch his lightsaber as a Force ghost. If they're going to go with this concept, then Anakin could absolutely pull Ahsoka into the world between worlds before she dies. Once again, just like Ezra did. The final idea that I actually really like and I think would be really, really interesting to see is that this is actually Anakin after his fall to the dark side, but before his fight with Obi-Wan on Mustafar, and he somehow wound up in the world between worlds. I don't think this is true just because of his demeanor when he's actually looking at Ahsoka there, but it would be really cool to see this what if scenario if Ahsoka was actually the one to fight that dark side Anakin. So with those theories out of the way, here's what I actually think is going on. Since Ahsoka is the embodiment of the light side of the Force, I think the Force itself actually pulled her into the world between worlds to save her because the Force is not done with her yet and has a greater purpose for her to serve. I do think it's Anakin's Force Ghost, but I think the Force is allowing them to communicate with each other in the world between worlds because she has a very important lesson to learn. Basically what I think episode 5 is going to be is going to be Anakin and Ahsoka kind of just walking through the world between worlds, looking at all of these past events and him actually giving her her final lessons for her to become the Jedi Master that she actually needs to be to go fight Thrawn in this new galaxy. I think this conversation that Ahsoka is about to have with Anakin is going to make her so in tune with the Force itself that she's going to learn all these different ways to use the Force. There's, we're going to see new Force abilities from Ahsoka that we have not yet seen. Anakin coming back in the Ahsoka show is absolutely one of my favorite things in all of Star Wars right now and I cannot wait to see what they do it. The truth is that nobody actually knows what's going on because Dave Filoni is a masterclass writer and we've seen that with the show so far. Definitely let me know what you think is actually going on and what do you think about Anakin's return down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and drop a like. That's going to be it for this one. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.